Mike J. Laneside back at the PBA World Series of Bowling in 2010, and this is a special extra frame product demonstration. Joining me, PBA Tour champions, both Steve Jarris and Michael Haugen Jr., and we are going to talk AMF 300 product demo today. Before we get out in the lane, Steve Jarris, AMF 300, uh, your relationship with, uh, with the brand. Well, uh, AMF 300 is a brand that 900 Global makes. Uh, we have the license to make their product as well as the 900 Global line. And, uh, you know, basically both product lines stand on their own. But when you look at them on, on one side or the other, they both blend really well together. And um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of thought goes into all the bowling balls that they make on both sides of it. And uh, I, I really believe that the AMF line is, is a really strong product just as well as the 900 Global line is. And Michael Hagen Jr., both of you gentlemen, uh, winners out on the national tour and winners in regional tours as well and I'll uh, break the ground here and call you two of the more cerebral players on tour it's a thinking man sport to a certain degree and and that equipment uh, is a part of the thinking absolutely I mean you have to choose the right ball at the right time as well as being able to execute a shot and to have different choices in terms of flare potential cover stocks for different lengths and be able to match that up and then to be able to guess properly is, is monumental out here because if you give up three or four frames a, a game that's 200 pins a block can't do that against the best players in the world. And a thinking man's game is really a thinking person's game. Men, women, league players, people trying to jump into competition. So building that arsenal, uh, just a part of the process, no matter at what level you compete at. Absolutely. And you know, I, I think that we do a really good job rating our cover stocks in a way that makes it simple to understand for both the pro shops and the players as well. Uh, we use a simple numbering system from, from 0 to 100 with the strongest one being the higher number. And uh, it's a really good way to, to kind of help fit the ball reaction that you're looking for. And it takes some of the guesswork out. And it's really putting true information into the bowler's hands. Getting set to throw the product of AMF 300 with Steve Jarris. And Steve, take us through what we're going to see today. Well, I've got a few of the new products that are out. Uh, we have a, a clutch pearl. Uh, we have a double clutch, uh, which is a, a really strong mid lane ball, real controllable arc the whole way down. Uh, the, the pearl version of the double clutch is a new ball that, that we've got coming out now. Uh, that one should be a little bit more skid flippy than what we're going to see out of the double clutch. Uh, we also have a new ball that's called the Shredder. Um, brand new cover stock that we haven't used before. A uh, little different additives to it. Really good uh, down lane reaction. We're going to see a little bit more back end out of it than what we've seen out of the double clutches and the balls that roll a little bit sooner. And then a new ball that we've got coming out in the next few months would be called the Shredded. And uh, that, that's also another, uh, it's a little different cover stock. It's uh, more of a hybrid between a pearl and a, and a, and a solid. I believe it's 70% solid with a little bit of pearl in there. Um, pretty good length through the front. And it should be really good continuous down lane. And Michael Hawkins Jr., as we're just getting set to watch Steve Jarris throw this AMF 300 product, what are a couple things I should be looking for as we uh, get set to watch Steve roll? Uh, obviously, the difference in the cover stocks and um, the length the ball goes down the lane and the shape that we have in the back. What we pride ourselves in is we make balls that roll early and continue, and we make balls that roll early and slow down so you can control the pocket when the lanes get tricky. We also do that on the other side. We give you skid, and we give you length, and we give you recovery, and, and the same thing. We give you balls that slow down. So when the lanes are really, really burnt and you need that ball to go 50 feet before it hooks, sometimes you want it going sideways, and sometimes you want it straightening out. We give you both options. So you're going to watch. Some balls are going to do this, and some balls are going to do this. But, you know, he can do that with his hand a little bit, but the balls actually help enhance that. Very good, gentlemen. We ready to get to the action? Let's get to the ready. lanes. Probably start with the lower stuff and work my way up. So we'll go with, want, uh, start off with the pearl clutch. Here it comes. AMF 300's pearl clutch. How do you have that drill? Five inch pin. Okay. Uh, pretty stacked. It's not okay. really anything the out of strong. the ordinary. So I'm, okay. Most of the stuff that I use is drilled pretty similar to one another. I let the differences in the ball dictate what they're going to do. Do you just have a box finish with games on it? Absolutely. Okay. This ball should get down the lane pretty clean. Um, it doesn't go sideways in the back. It's pretty smooth and controllable. So as the lanes dry up, this is probably one of his go-to balls. And you can see how that one kind of slowed down a little bit. That's what we're talking about, part of the control. If he wanted a little bit more back end and a little more sharper break point, he would switch into maybe a double clutch or a double clutch pearl. Or he could actually go to the shredder and, and he'll make that decision, obviously, as the lanes would break down. And, and uh, you know, depending on where he was playing the lane and how he wanted to see the shape, he would make that decision on where he would go from there. But the one thing about all of our balls is you can go either way. You know, you can go to a stronger ball just to smooth it out or you can go to a more skid flippy ball to get that length and recovery. Or you could just grab it more like he did that time. <laughs> Pretty direct there. <laughs> yeah, you look like you grabbed it a little bit more too. <laughs> well, you know. How did they come out of the box, Michael? That one is, is a polished finish. Um, 
generally most of our balls that are polished are about 2,000 Aberlon and then we put a polish on top of them. And uh, it comes out pretty shiny, but he's used that one quite a bit, I think, winning those 43 regional titles and, uh, you know, that one's got a little burn on it. But they generally do come a little shinier than that. And as you can see, even, even with all the games on it, it has no problem getting down the lane, so. Steve, what do we got next? Well, I am going to go up to the next level. Uh, let's see oh, the, the next double one clutch up. Pearl. To, yeah, let's do the double clutch pearl. Yeah. Double clutch pearl it is. Yeah, this ball should read the lane a little sooner, but it is a pearl, so it should also, you know, the, the pearl helps it push a little bit, but it should be a little sooner and a little bit more arky. So hopefully he'll get just inside that spot he was throwing and it'll knock the 10 out. All right. Let's take a look and show us the difference, both in the positioning of Steve Jarris as well as where it goes on the lane. Well, at least he didn't make a liar out of me. <laughs> it's nice when it does what we're supposed to little, do. Huh? Yeah, a little bit deeper on the lane. <laughs> it does start a little bit more mid laning, but it does have a good continuation down lane as well. See it again. Throw one more, but try and keep this one in the oil a little longer. And try to keep it what? Keep it in the oil a little bit longer and see if it picks up. Or, as soon as I find some. Or see if it uh, pushes down the lane a little bit. Take a look at it on the lane, and then we'll have them bring it back, and we'll uh, show it to the folks at home and get a look at that layout. I can see on that one he did get it in the oil a little bit longer and it did push longer in the oil and consequently it, it didn't have enough to make the corner. So uh, hypothetically if he was playing that lane that way and that's where he wanted to play the lane and he didn't strike, he would go right into our solid double clutch and in that same spot that ball should read and pick up the strike. Steve, why don't you grab that rock and let's take a look at the, at the layout. Again, it's another pretty simple layout for me. It's about a five, four and a half, five inch pin. Most of my pins are always right around this area here. I just kind of let the surface dictate the difference in the ball reaction, the core dictate it, that I can do a lot with my hand as well. But I try to keep it pretty simple as far as layouts. I don't get too caught up in a lot of the exotic stuff, very rarely. And uh, for the most part, I can cover a pretty good variety of stuff. It's a sweet looking ball too. Yeah, actually it's a pretty looking ball. Um, we found a lot of times, obviously color is appealing to, to, the, to the public. You and this, one is, uh, this one's a shelf attention getter. All right. All right. Let's uh, same place you have ten. Let's throw that double clutch solid and see if it'll see if it kicks the ten out. This would essentially be a very similar reaction. Just a little bigger to the solid, and if you start a little bit sooner, you'll have to meet a little bit So the idea is we're hoping that the, the place in the oil where if you have ten, this ball will pick up and continue and strike. Now you can see that one was definitely in the same part of the lane where you have ten with the double clutch pearl and it picked up the lane much sooner, in fact so soon that he left the nine pin because the ball drove through. So what do we got left? Well we have the uh go to the shredder. I'm gonna go to the shredder, yeah. The shredder is uh it, it's a pretty highly reactive piece and it's got a, a pretty decent core. It's been touted as one of the best inside line balls in the game. Um, if you have to get in and go around it, it's got the best skid flip recovery that we have in the AMF line for the heavier volume oil and I would be willing to bet yes he does have it pinned down and uh, the, the CG's right here if there was a mass bias in this ball it would be right in here again somewhere which is a standard Steve Darrow thrill and uh, the nice thing about again all of our stuff is that because our stuff is so versatile you can do whatever you want with your hand and you don't have to get out of changing balls so much so it's one of the beauties of our product line. And you can see that ball was clearly much longer down the lane similar to the to the clutch pearl and double clutch pearl but it had much more left in the back end because that ball is just, it's just designed to do a little more skid flip. And if, if the lane was blended flatter, the ball flares quite a bit, so he could square up to it in, the, in a heavy oil condition and throw it in front of him, and the ball wouldn't hook. It would just rev up in the oil and it, it would hook on the back end of the pattern. So the ball is very versatile. He can go this way with it, or he can go this way with it. North and south, or east and west? As you can see, that one was a little further out, and it did come back. It didn't quite get the seven, but he got the 10 out, which was very nice. And Michael, uh, we've got one more product to look at from AMF 300. Uh, what do we got? Well, we have a new ball called the Shred It. I'm actually going to let Steve talk about it because he knows a little bit more about it than I do. It is, uh, it's it's going to be the brand new release and it's going to be AMF's daddy. It's a pretty strong looking ball. Obviously, it's a pretty clean looking ball with the black and silver. So I'm going to let Steve pick it up from here. And, and, and this is a ball that's got the, a little more of a hybrid type of a cover. It's got the 70% uh, of the cover is solid, a little bit of pearl mixed into it. It's going to help us get that length through the front. It's going to be really continuous through the mid lane. It's going to be a really strong reaction overall. So you're going to be about, what, three or four left of the shredder, you would say? Right. So. <laughs> He says he's going to move in three or four boards, which is really going to put him about probably six or seven boards from the first ball he started with, which was the clutch pearl. 
and you can see the vast variety of, of the equipment that we have on the line. That's a better shot. And you can see the shape, it picked up the lane much sooner and still when it made the turn it was continuous and it had enough to drive through the pins and it's a pretty good looking ball. Steve Jarris, let's uh, review what we've seen today from AMF 300. Well, we went through the line a little bit, starting from the uh, the balls that start a little bit, a little go a little longer down the lane with a little more back end with the pearl clutch. Uh, worked our way up through the double clutch, the double clutch pearl, uh, the shredder, and the shred it. Um, one thing that we do uh, with our product line is we build in a gap in the performance so that we, we can cover a variety of conditions. So you can cover anything from a very dry lane to something that's very slick, and it'll cover a variety of different rev rates and give you give a lot of bowlers something to match up with. Great. Well, wrapping up here at the World Series of Bowling with Steve Jarris and Michael Haugen Jr., this AMF 300 demo. Where can I go online uh, for more information? AMF300.com would be the, the website for AMF, and uh, all the products are up there. Michael Haugen, thanks for helping us out with this product line. You're welcome, Mike J. Thank you. And we thank you for watching this special product demonstration on Extra Frame. It's Mike J. Lane side.